Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, I just thought I'd show you this just uh, just as a matter of interest. Uh, the other day they said on the news, oh, we got a super moon tonight. So I thought I'll go out and take some pictures of the super moon. Now, didn't look particularly super to me, but uh, we did have this sort of unusual ring effect around the moon, which I think is caused by moisture in the air. But curiously, I didn't see this thing here uh, on the phone when I when I took the photo. Looks like something's just gone like that. And these photos are in sequence, okay? So that's that's the first one. This is the second one. It's still there, it's just a little dot. There's the third one, which I thought looked pretty good. I might get a poster made of this because it sort of looks like there's another planet here. But the little blue dot isn't there, so it's it's not anything on the uh oh, that's interesting, what's that? It's not it's not anything on the actual lens, it's nothing on the on the actual camera. Okay, and there's the next one, which again I reckon is going to make a really good poster. I've uh, got some treetops in the top of that one there, but I reckon that that's going to make a really good poster. That one, uh, you know, it's sort of um, looking into the sky from Tatooine or somewhere. And uh, we'll get rid of that <laughs> bloody thing. Okay. And here we are. This is the next photo. Now remember these are in sequence. So whatever that little blue dot is, whatever this little blue dot is, is not on the camera. And I took two photos with this in it, and it appears to be sort of moving around a little bit. I took two photos then of the moon, just, the, just the, with this in the, as the top of the picture. Now this is the next picture in sequence, so I'm looking back up at the moon, and the little blue thing is back. As I say, I never, I, I didn't see this in any of, the, any of the photos I took. I think it's quite interesting though, isn't it? I wonder what that is, the little blue thing there. And then we have the little blue thing in motion. I don't know whether it's me moving the camera that's actually making it appear to move, but, you know, the, the moon and the, the other circle, the, the, the circle looks all right, doesn't it? Okay, and uh, I think that's the last one in the sequence, yeah. And this, I thought, was... Uh, I'll just show you one other picture I, I took. Just to give you a bit of a flavour of Australia, really. So remember, those were all in sequence. And that's uh, that's just a picture I took of a couple of kangaroos in my next-door neighbour's front garden. <laughs> just to give you a bit of a flavour of Australia. Um... But yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's really quite strange. So that's picture number one, picture number two, and I'm pressing the button to do this. It's not a bang, 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 bang type thing. That's picture number three. That's picture number four. It does definitely looks like another planet there, doesn't it? It's going to be a really good post of that. And picture number five. A little blue dot is back there. So whatever this was, I'd say it's something up in the sky, but it's something that I didn't see. It stands out really well here, doesn't it? So I'll have to try the phone. I'll have to try pointing one of the remotes at the phone and see if it shows infrared up as blue. <laughs> OK, well, I uh, hope you found that interesting. Uh, you, you can tell I'm bored because I can't get on with what I need to be doing because of the weather, can't you? <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Perhaps I'll catch you again.